Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we're taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions, and your eyes do not deceive you, the greatest. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, Muhammad Ali. Yes, Muhammad Ali has come to WWE Champions. He is a Legends era aggressive striker, trainer ability at 26k. Any color submission moves do 100% more damage per turn. Um, rest in peace, Striker Austin, for the 50 to all. Um, you are now outdated at 26k by Muhammad Ali. Um, Link's Legends era gems do 10% more damage, and he does come with gear. Crimson Mitts. All color moves start with five more move points so it's giving hall of fame kurt angle vibes uh this preview will be without the gear i will do a run it back with the gear so we can see um the damage potential when we don't need to use mp trainers um the first move set i'm going to take a look at uses two mp trainers because why not uh, knockout blow finisher 10 mp deal 491,253 damage and choose a 6x6 six six area to, to destroy. Black 2, float like a butterfly, 6 MP, deal 176,404 damage. And choose one row to make into multiply gems of strength, 7. Red 1, provoke and pulverize, 6 MP, deal 172,430 damage. And choose 7 gems to make into black gems we are running a double mp as i said butch for red woods for black hall of fame Bree to choose two more black gems if you have zombie um i think it's zombie sean michaels he's the choose three uh use him instead if you have him um if you have mem rock this would be the place to use mem rock i do not have him so we are going to focus on our black gem damage with zombie edge for the flat twelve thousand. For the belt, we are bringing in the fancy 30% gem damage preview strap. Two sets of Fury 2s, and for this build, we're going to use the Queen's Tiara. Whenever you make six or more multiply gems, increase your black gem damage by 50% for two turns. So we're going to try to double stack the plate turn one, hence the double MP trainers. And uh, Battle of the Legends era strikers. Let's see who prevails. Okay, so 47,000 on our black gems. We're going to go ahead and choose a row. And we're going to look for a row that has either a lot of black gems or a lot of red gems or a lot of both. Um, I will take this one for the black gems. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to take this one down here with the reds and I will add in some black gems accordingly. It's 47 to 57 choose nine to make into black we're gonna make ourselves two three matches and then like i said we're gonna scatter in the black gems accordingly and then um let's put one there because then we could take this row as well for our second and they even dropped as a black match. So 57, 401. Choose another row. And we got three black gems and two red gems here. So now 67, 469. And then the knockout blow. Choose a 6x6 six six to destroy. Yeah, purple is his third color. So we're going to take that area. Destroy all those multiply gems. Just shy of 5 million damage on turn 1 with double MP trainers. Double stacking the tiara plate. Again, we will run that back with the gear and no MP trainers to see what kind of gem damage we can produce. Uh, but let's go take a look at something else.
Next build we're going to take a look at brings in the purple moves alongside a float like a butterfly. Purple won the Dirty Clinch 7 MP submission. Generate 22 random submission gems and do 279,992 damage for 5 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into multiply gems of strength 3. And Purple 2, the Dancing Jabs 6 MP, deal 158 931 damage, pardon me, and choose a 3x1 area to make into two turn juggernaut gems that will increase your black MP by 4 on every countdown turn and make 8 multiply gems into purple gems at the end of the countdown. Again, no gear, so we're using woods for purple MP, bringing in Hall of Fame X Pac for 50% more damage to the submission and an increase in multiply gem strength. Um, Macho King for 20% to the purple and red. You can use Showboat Lacey for 20% purple if you have Masters of the Universe Rey Mysterio built up. You could use him for the flat 12,000 as well. And then when in doubt, Santa Hogan. Uh, we're getting plus one MP and any color gems do 3,450 more damage for the belt. Uh, keeping the medals intact for this preview, bringing in the all heart plate, whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your green and purple gem damage by 100% for two turns. So let's take a look, 26,000 to our purple gems, gonna hit the dancing jabs. And we're gonna go there so he doesn't match them and break them. Uh, where did I say this was at? 26. Okay. Let's hit the sub. It was a five turn sub base, so you could probably do a, a fairly beefy sub build here. Um, he pinned us, which means our strategy is out the window. Because now these are all going to turn purple. Which is fine. 2.1, he's probably going to kick out, and then we can just try again. No, he's going to pin us there, too. Oh, well. We move on. Uh, but anyways, we've got 36 on the purple because of the all heart. That's 292. And again, X-Pac will increase um, the multiply gems from this move as well, not just the submission. And then let's go ahead. He'll pin us, we'll get a swipe, and then we'll turn all those multiply gems into purple. Just won't really be able to see the damage. But that's, that's totally fine. Should be GG's here. Slow it down. Yeah, I missed that, but it did it did the trick. Um, what you could do is use Hall of Fame Lawler as a coach, reduce your submission turns by two, uh, because we were kind of struggling to keep the multiply gems on the board. They didn't really chain together. It's very RNG. Probably not the build I would run if I'm running the sub. Probably because it's going to be a super sub build, or I'm going to use a different set of moves that have more control over the board. Let's go take a look at something else. Next build we're going to take a look at is available at 5 star triple black. So bringing back the finisher, keeping float like a butterfly, and bringing in sting like a bee. 7 MP deal 227,400 damage and increase your black MP by 6. Again, no gear. So we are using woods for black MP, bringing in Judgment Day Priest. For two more MP to the black moves, but more importantly, for the multiply gem strength increase, you know I'm adverse to using Matt Hardy just because you can't get him anymore. Um, if you don't have Judgment Day Priest, by all means, use Happy Corbin, um, Hall of Fame X-Pac, or Tech Lex, as those are the free-to-play options for multi-gem strength increasing. Um, using Shobo Miz for 15% more damage to the multiply gems, and Santa Hogan for the flat 3450, and we must turn the drip light on because everybody was thinking it, so we're going to try it. 
Um, whenever you activate a black move, make seven random gems into multiply gems of strength seven. Priest will affect this number. They will be multiply gems of strength eight. It is just going to be a visual glitch. They will show as seven, but I will show you that they are, in fact, strength eight. Okay, tour perks, double MP, no gear, everything is loaded. Don't expect everything to be loaded. Um, this move will obviously be more important for getting to the finisher. So 38 on the black gems. Uh, choose one row to make in the multiply gems of strength seven. Gonna go ahead and go down here where there's two black gems. Because again, they are going to be strength eight. And they didn't put one on a black gem for us, but we can see 29 to the red, 252, 252. So this is in fact a visual glitch. It is applying to the drip plate. Increase your black MP by six. That means we're gonna get out another row of multiply gems. And normally I'd say, you know, try not to cover up a row that already has. We could go here because there's only one. Uh, but there are two black gems in this row and that row, so I would like to prioritize those as much as possible. And then the drip came through for us there. So 328 to our black gems, and then pick the area with the most black multiply gems. You really only need to hit one of them to recycle this fully. Uh, but you're going for the most damage possible. So 6.3 million damage on turn one. Again, no gear. If you have Memrock, if you have Matt Hardy, that's going to be a lot stronger. But that's the drip build that everyone probably looked at and salivated over. So let's turn the drip light back off and go take a look at something else. Last build I'm going to take a look at for this preview brings in uh, the remaining red moves, including the six star move. We are going to be running the submission for random multiply gems. Red two is the Ropadope 6 MP. Deal 161,958 damage and make 10 random gems into one turn countdown gems that will deal 126,086 damage and increase the damage of all your gems by 20% for one turn does not affect bonus damage at the end of the countdown and the six star move the alley shuffle 7 MP deal 264,542 damage and choose a 5 by 5 area to swap into red gems again no gear double MP Woods for purple, Butch for red. Bringing back Macho King for the 20% to the red. Um, if you have Tech Stacy built up for the flat 12,000, that is the play. Again, Memrock, if you have him for the multi-strength, I do not. Santa Hogan will have to do for now. And we are going to run the Gremlin's Ears skill plate. Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your red and blue gem damage by 100% for two turns. Now, if you don't have the Gremlin's Ears, you could always use the ultimate Opportuna Z plate. Whenever you make four or more countdown gems, increase your gem damage by 50%. And reduce your opponent's gem damage by 35% for two turns. Of course, if you have the Eyes of Judgment skill plate, whenever you make six or more countdown gems, deplete your opponent's MP by whatever the number is. I don't remember. I don't have it. Uh, but if you have that side plate for this build, highly recommend throwing that on. You could also just do a red defensive stance as well, because you're going to be making a, a large area of red gems just for a little bit of, you know, kick out um, nerfing here. If you are so inclined. Uh, but the Eyes of Judgment plate would be the way to go. And let's see how this looks. Alright, so what I'm going to ask of Macho is that he doesn't pin us. Rope-a-dope. Dodge, 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 bop. Uh, so that is our submission... Submission. Countdown gems. So... If we keep all of them, we get a 200% gem boost for one turn, uh... Not all that likely. Again, maybe making this a three-turn submission with Hall of Fame Lawler might be better. Um, just to try to keep all these on the board. Yeah, rip countdowns. That's fine. Hey, he didn't pin us. All right. So we got seven. 
Um, so with the Gremlin's Ears and then the 140% for one turn, Red Gem's doing 110,000. So 332,000 on the multiply. And then we're going to choose a 5x5. Five five. I'm going to try to hit as many of these multiply gems as possible. So I'm going to go there for that nice little area there. Going to latch on to those. You know what that sound means. 6.3 on, uh, on turn 2, which... Not all that horrible for the second strongest color. Again, with gear, we can maximize that gem damage output by a lot. So you're going to want to turn those notifications on for the run it back when we just go full gem damage. Uh, but let's go ahead and wrap things up. That concludes our first look at Muhammad Ali, the greatest. Again, an aggressive Legends era striker, trainer ability at 26k, any color submission moves do 100% more damage per turn. Legend era Link gems do 10% more damage, and he does have a gear. We did not use it in this preview, uh, but all color moves start with five more move points. I know it looks exactly the same, but trust me, the name on the back is a different color and the gloves are a different color. Um, so stay tuned for that run it back. Really curious to hear what you all think, um, considering we just had the Rocky crossover event and Rocky 76 was a very, very strong striker. Uh, this event seems to be a similar format. So people could be landing Rocky and Muhammad Ali here. And I'm very curious to see how everybody views them head to head. Um, again, We'll be doing the gear preview shortly, so stay tuned for that. But let me know what you think in the comments of this video. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend.